welcome to today's booty workout. I've got another awesome workout for you, which can either be um, your daily workout or this can be um, a finisher, depending on what other exercise you're doing today. Make sure you're nice and warm before you get started. It's just gonna be five minutes. We've got five different exercises um, and it's gonna be five minutes on each exercise. I'm gonna set the timer. It's gonna give us a little buzzer when we're halfway through. Um, so yeah, I'll talk you through the exercises as we go along. So the first one um, is squats. So let's get started. Shoulders, abs, let's go. So feet are about hip width apart. Bum is going back like you're gonna sit on a chair. Knees stay behind your big toe. Now, if it hurts your knees, turn your feet out slightly or don't go as low. If you wanna go a bit lower, you can do. Um, Make sure you're nice and warm before you do. If you want to make this a little bit harder, then you can add some weight so you could hold some dumbbells. Um, so that's our 30 second marker. So we're halfway through already. Now really squeeze these glutes when you're up at the top, almost like you're pushing your hips forwards. And let's see if you can go a little bit lower, stick that bum back. If you really struggle with squats, then just practice sitting down onto a chair like this. So just coming down into a chair, coming up. So plenty of options. I know some people absolutely love squats, others don't. Okay, so this one, you might want a chair to balance. Leg goes back and we're just gonna do little, little raises. Now make sure the raise comes from your bum. Um, so you're not using your back or using your chest. Okay, so it's all in your glutes, lifting that leg up. See my imaginary chair? Really nice strong abs, it's a good test of your balance, but use a chair, so that's our 30 second gone already. Oh, I'm wobbling. Can you feel that glute burning yet? You feel it in the supporting leg as well, because the supporting leg's having to work So we swap side, shake these legs out. I'm just going to turn to the corner so you can see what I'm doing. Make sure these abs are pulled in, use a chair. Now, if you want to make this exercise harder, you could um, have an ankle weight around your ankle. Don't go for height. And what we're going to do actually, rather than resting, you can do pulses so the foot's not coming down. So loads of variations, depending on what level. So you work at the level that works best for you. As long as you feel it, I'm losing my balance because I can't talk and balance. As long as you feel it challenging you, that's what you're looking for. So you can do a drop, put the toes to the floor, or you can keep that toe off the floor. Keep doing these pulses. Feel that supporting leg burning as well. I'm wobbling all over the place. And my feet are getting cramp. Okay, so next one. You're gonna step to the side, knee stays behind your big toe, and then lift that knee up. So really sit back into that leg. So really sit that bum back and then lift that knee up. Abs are pulled in. If you wanna make this harder, you could add in a hop. So you could hop when you're here or you could work with some weight. So we're halfway there with this exercise. Really step out to the side. Lift that leg up. Now if you want, you can also vary it a little bit and try this. Similar thing, bum back, knee behind your big toe. You really have to push off that leg. Okay, shake these legs out. Same thing on the other side. So we step to the side and we come in. So knee stays behind your big toe and really sit back into that leg. That's what's gonna get that glute burning, get it working. 
keep smiling, keep breathing. I'm feeling that burn, I hope you are too. So we're halfway there. So let's add in a bit of a variation on this one. So you really have to push off this leg. Still sitting back. So with some of these exercises, don't be in a rush. It's better to do it a little bit slower and get that burn, get that technique right. Can you feel it? I am. I think we're nearly there. Okay, time. Shake those legs out. So that's the end of our five minutes. I've got one last little exercise though that we're going to do. Um, get a chair behind you. What you're going to do is one leg up. You're going to sit down. Try and not flop. Try not to flop down. Really engage those abs, and then drive through that leg to come up. We're just going to do five on each side. Just make sure you don't have any knee injuries, because this one might put a bit too much pressure on your knee if you do. But drive through that heel. Okay, shake it out. Change legs. So you're driving through the heel of the leg that's on the floor as you're coming back up and that's when you can see that burn. So really engage these abs and slowly control down but really drive through that heel and that's what you're going to feel. That glute work in two more. Oh, okay, shake those legs out. Great work, I hope you enjoyed that. So if you want some more you can do another round. Um, or you can start putting some of my other videos together. So you can mix and match it. So you could do another booty video or you could do one of my hip videos. So you've got a bit of cardio going on and a bit of toning. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear how you've got on. So make sure you do um, comment and let me know. So comment on social media, like, comment, share. Let me know um, and let me know if there's any other workouts that you would like. Um, and have a great day, great evening, whatever you're up to. And I will see you soon with some more workouts. Take care. Bye.